An all too familiar walk to the party room for Liberal MPs. Today needs to be a line in the sand. We need to start uh, talking about things that are important. We've all had enough of talking about ourselves. Many tight lipped as they shuffled in for Moira Deeming's political execution. It'll get sorted out today and we can all move forward. The already suspended MP wasn't there to defend charges she'd brought the party into disrepute over her association with organisers of an anti trans rights rally and more recently, a decision to sue leader John Pesuto. Her lawyers have made demands Mr Pesuto apologise, but they've fallen on deaf ears. Outside the marathon meeting, a sole protester rallied to Maura Deeming's cause, but to no avail. Yeah, Maura is gone. You cannot sue your boss and expect to keep your job. Suing your party and your leader is a gross act of betrayal. Other MPs were less keen to give commentary on the result, which also saw party room secretary Renee Heath dumped from her post, with fellow MPs furious with their minute taking. 19 MPs backed the two motions, 11 against. John Pesuto claiming victory. Today marks a real turning point for the state parliamentary Liberal Party, which I'm very honoured to lead. But it wasn't an emphatic win. More than a third weren't on board, a sign how deeply riven this party remains. Unity is a constant project. Do you support John Pesuto? I reserve my comments for the party room. All their other hateful, bigoted views, they were fine. But the moment she threatened to sue Mr Pesuto, she has to go. Like, it tells you all you need to know. Maura Deeming declined to comment, citing advice from her lawyer. John Pesuto has spilled an awful lot of political blood to get here. His judgement and political skill have been called into question. Remember, more than a third of his colleagues voted against the plan. This is a party room that struggled for unity for years. Its troubles date back all the way to its last term in office under Ted Bailey. Maura Deeming's expulsion has rattled the party to its base and it remains divided, with a group angry at her treatment for speaking up. But others have praised Pesuto for calling out the party's propensity to get mired in culture wars rather than holding Labor to account. At the moment, the government's financial woes should be a free kick for a flailing opposition. And while MPs hope today marks a line in the sand, this messy chapter is far from over. Miss Deeming's defamation claim will be contested, inflicting more damage to the battered brand, while some in the party want her membership revoked altogether. For his part, John Pesuto needed this vote to be a message to Victorians that he's capable of leading a viable alternative government. But he still hasn't explained how he's going to unify his team.